I'm Dr. Jim and I want to talk about a very serious problem because it's an often unnoticed and undiagnosed problem. And it is malnutrition and weight loss in senior care. Okay? Nutrition, we know, is a major component of care in any senior living community. Good nutrition is critical to one's overall health and well-being. Seniors have different nutritional needs than we do, than younger adults, middle-aged adults. As people age, they tend to eat less and for a number of reasons. Medications may decrease appetite or make food taste different and unpleasant. Older adults have higher rates of chronic medical conditions like diabetes and heart conditions that may interfere with appetite and eating behaviors. And as a result, many seniors may not be getting adequate calories and protein. Two, malnutrition and weight loss can become very serious issues and sometimes deadly issues. It has been found in numerous studies that malnutrition in senior care is underdiagnosed. And that was my motivation for putting this program together for you. So, malnutrition. There appears to be no single agreed upon definition of malnutrition in the literature concerning seniors. Despite this, malnutrition is a very serious problem for many seniors living in skilled nursing centers and assisted living communities. So you have skilled nursing and assisted living. Common indicators of malnutrition include involuntary weight loss, abnormal body mass index or BMI, specific vitamin deficiencies, and decreased dietary intake. Those are all important to look at and to monitor. Why then is malnutrition underdiagnosed? Healthcare professionals may simply not recognize weight loss as a morbid symptom of malnutrition. Instead, they may associate it with age-related conditions such as a reduction in muscle loss or muscle mass, which does occur. Obese seniors may experience protein undernutrition because staff might overlook it as a problem. Now, let's look at and allow me to list causes of malnutrition. Malnutrition among seniors in care centers can be associated with a number of factors, including the following. A lack or interest in food. Changes in the taste buds, which occur all the time, constantly. I'm, my taste buds are dying as I'm speaking to you. Yours are dying as you watch me. Side effects of medications, that's a big one. Restricted diets, low sodium, low fat, boring. Trouble chewing or swallowing, dental problems, tooth pain, oral pain, poor dental health, depression, a big one, cognitive impairment, dementia, dementia-related disorders, Alzheimer's, so on and so forth. There are also a number of health uh, concerns related to malnutrition, including weakened immune system, risk of infections, poor wound healing, that's a bad one, muscle weakness and deterioration, which might lead to accidents and falls, fractures, and further disinterest in eating or lack of appetite. Any or all of these can compound the entire clinical picture and make things worse. Causes of weight loss in senior care communities, there are many. In senior care, it's more common to be concerned about weight loss than it is weight gain. There are a number of medical conditions and dietary and social factors behind weight loss. Medical conditions causing weight loss include diabetes, heart disease, hyper or hypothyroid disease, dental, swallowing, or digestive problems, medications, cancer, COPD, if you can't breathe, it's hard to eat, arthritis, diminished sense of smell or taste, or perhaps even a recent hospitalization could decrease someone's appetite. 
Dietary factors include uh, meals limited in salt, fat, and sugar, bland, and institutionalized foods, and calorie and fluid restrictions. All of these might just, you know, make the senior go, eating's not fun anymore. Eating is not enjoyable. I, why should I eat? Why should I continue doing this? Social factors include the dining room environment, the room temperature, noise levels, food choices. Those are all really important. So here are some of my final thoughts. While senior care centers do their best, I've been in them for 30 years. I love, listen, take a break. I love people who work in dietary. The kitchen is not the easiest place to work in a senior care community. It's hot, you're working behind stoves and ovens, you're putting out three good meals a day. It is tough. I respect people who work in dietary and I respect people who work around food, serve food, prepare food. It is not easy, okay? So I know, you know, senior care centers do their best to deliver good meals and dining experiences, but you're up against some odds here. Age-related problems are working around the clock to cause weight loss and undernutrition or malnutrition. To effectively treat these problems, though, clinical staff should monitor nutritional and fluid intake regularly and intervene when any type of irregularity arises. In senior care, the greatest worry is losing weight, not gaining it. Thank you for your time. I'm Dr. Jim. This has been malnutrition and weight loss in senior care, often underdiagnosed problems. Take care of those seniors. Feed them well. If they're not eating, find out the causes and do something about it. I'll see you soon.